So hi there, I'm Julia Seal from happinessmatters.coach and I want to talk to you today a little bit about coaching ourselves on special days. So it sounds a bit crazy and if you don't know my work you might want to listen to last week's live which was about joining me up the happiness ladder. But today I want to talk about something that you'll see me doing on social media around special days and how we can use special days to coach ourselves to whole being happiness in midlife. So what do I mean about special days? An example this week, we have dog day, we have just because day, and we also have kiss and make up day, which is today. <laughs> and these are hallmark holidays. They're in the sort of calendar of events, holidays, some of them are UN days, they're special days, something interesting about the day. And I love to use these days as an opportunity to step into coaching ourselves and to take a step up the happiness ladder. And what I mean by this, and I'm going to explain a little bit what I mean by it uh, in, the, in the live, but it's more about you know, why do we want to do it in the first place? And then how do we do it? So thinking about why do we even want to do this? What this is all about? And the very first thing really is about bringing ourselves to the day. And here is an opportunity to be mindfully in the moment and to coach ourselves in that moment. So if you've worked with me before, if you've been on one of my happiness habits challenge, you'll know that we are always wanting to tap into where we are on the happiness ladder at any given time in the day. And we're talking about whole being happiness here, not happiness ladder as in the hedonic pleasures of life. It's like, where are we in midlife in whole being? And so this opportunity every day that I post on social media is an opportunity to say, this is where I am. This is where my happiness is. And how do I want to explore my happiness in this moment? So that's the second interesting thing that goes on here is the exploration that happens in the moment when we mindfully bring attention to our happiness, to our whole being happiness. Because what happens when we bring attention to whole being happiness is we start to explore what it actually means for us right now. What is whole being happiness? So first of all, what does even whole being mean to us as professional women in our midlives? What does whole being mean? And then what does happiness mean for us? Beyond the pleasures of chocolate cake. <laughs> And then you put it together and it's about exploring what whole being happiness is and about stepping into this huge opportunity that we have once we kind of making it making our way through menopause and what's happening on the next on the other side of menopause the next phase of our lives and all of this is about this journey that we get to take from being puzzled sometimes stuck in our midlives, maybe a bit discontent, not really where we thought we'd end up by the time we get to midlife. And then there's the opportunity with what do we do after that? So what's next? And I love to think of this process as the exploration of whole being happiness. And I talk and you know I think about it in terms of first of all it's about getting unstuck sometimes in the areas of our life where we are stuck because we are professional women we're not completely stuck and not moving forward we'll be stuck in little pockets of our lives and this is the invitation to you is do we need to be stuck in these little pockets or what if we go from being stuck to resilient in these pockets and what if we then expand our resilience and move into being creative in these pockets? And then what if we were thriving? What would life look like if we were thriving? And this is very exciting, very exciting stuff to be thinking about. 
in our midlife. So this small tool of coaching ourselves on special days, of bringing ourselves mindfully to the moment and considering our happiness in the moment is part of this journey that I'm inviting you on to go from stuck and puzzled to thriving. Now it's not just about getting unstuck. One of the easiest ways is to bring a moment of joy into our life. So that's what this, this little exercise can do. It can bring a moment of joy. But there's something much bigger to why I'm even inviting you on this journey up the happiness ladder. And that's about what's ahead for us as midlife women. And what we can do in the world as midlife women. Because this is where... When we are our expanded selves, our higher, highest selves, our highest beings, then we have the power, the resilience, the resourcefulness, the passion to step out into the world and start making a real difference. You know, just think about what's going on with the women in Afghanistan right now. And what are we as women of the West, what can we truly do? And if we are not sitting in a place of compassion fatigue, which is going on for a lot of us, because we haven't cleared the stuckness, the puzzledness, we haven't built our resilience. So this journey is not selfish. This journey is immensely, immensely kind to ourselves and to the world. It's how we go out and make a difference on Women's Equality Day in America tomorrow. It's how we go out and make a difference on things like the inordinate number of teenage pregnancies in South Africa that has happened during lockdown in family homes. And it also goes, my one of my passions particularly, is acting against female genital mutilation. This is what's ahead for us. This is the excitement of whole being happiness and going into ourselves in those moments. This is how it starts. In the moments to find our joy, to find our self-care because we then can expand into the world, into our true beautiful, whole, and highest beings. So how do we do that? <laughs> Something as bizarre as just because day. All we do is take a note of the day. So you, you see me and it's the reminder. You see my post. It's the reminder to go in and say, where am I on the happiness ladder? Where is whole being happiness for me right now? Tap in, just go, mm, I'm here. And what am I going to do about where I am? Can I feel deeply into the pain, the suffering, what's struggling for us right now? Can we hold that? Can we honor that? And if we're not there, can we pivot and take a step up? Can we become more powerful, more joyful to become bigger contributors to the world? So here's just some examples. So if you think, so today is kiss and makeup day. <laughs> so if you're in a midlife relationship that's not looking so good right now, you're probably hating me because kiss and makeup day is a reminder in the moment to think about your relationships and think about your relationship's contribution to your whole being happiness and what state your relationships are in, whether it's with your partner, your adult children, your mother-in-law, your colleagues, and how today you could do one thing to improve one of those relationships. So as an example, one positive interaction or one more positive interaction in your relationship today. That's a step up the happiness ladder. All right. And then what we have um, tomorrow is we have dog day. <laughs> 
and as you know I'm crazy about dogs and I have Yeti sleeping looking at me <laughs> while I'm talking about this but something that I feel incredibly strongly about pets is the ability that animals have to open our hearts in the moment they are like joy on legs <laughs> so when we look at our animals we can tap into joy and love and compassion instantaneously you know one of the things i do is you know in i follow tibetan buddhism and we talk about generating bodhisattva generating compassion and love in tongling meditation so an animal is the most beautiful way to do that so tomorrow is a day to think about that to be a how do you generate feelings of love and compassion on purpose for yourself and then i think friday it is is just because day just because day so for the sheer delight on just because day can we open our eyes to something that makes us smile yeah we have no idea of the power of a smile well maybe we do all right because as dolly parton says <laughs> if you see someone without a smile give them one of yours because that's what happens so on just because day i invite you to smile and see the impact that you can have around you so these are really everyday ways to create whole being happiness in midlife and it isn't selfish and it isn't just for fun it is because it takes us up the ladder of moving from puzzled and stuck in pockets of our lives in pain suffering unhappy to the next stage of becoming more resilient to the next stage of becoming more creative to the next stage of thriving and what happens after thriving is our ability to step into the world as whole being women and to contribute in profound ways that will be able to impact the women of the world the children of the world the people of the world so please join me every day on the happiness ladder Take care. Bye.